Hello, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dave. It's been a few weeks since I uh, last made a video. What was Christmas and New Year and all that. So I want to crack on to do something today. Um, who loves clam chowder? I love clam chowder. I want to make clam chowder, but I can't because I've tried all of the supermarkets and nobody sells them. So my only hope is to uh, maybe try one of the Chinese supermarkets, but that's for another day. So I'm going to improvise. I'm going to make the same thing as I would with the clam chowder. However, as a substitute, I'm using a seafood mix. So we've got some mussels, some calamari and some king prawns. So I'm sure it's going to be just as good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to peel, chop some potatoes, just a handful, two, three celery, just need a little bit of flour and only a half an onion. And I've got a few sprigs of uh, thyme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on, chop this lot and uh, on to the next step. So that's the chopping done. Right, so the next step would be get some butter. And oof, it's a sticky the first time you open this. Pop that in there. Put these on so I can see. Right, get the gas on. Right, I want quite a wedge of butter. Right, let that do its thing in there. Lower that a bit. Okay, so next step onions and celery. Let those uh, fry for a few minutes. Let the onions go uh, a little translucent. give that about five minutes and then we'll go on to the next step right so what I've done is I've let this thicken up a little bit it's now soaking resting in its own juices and the butter what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil some water because I need where is it ah. because I couldn't get the clams therefore I can't use clam juice uh, an alternative is chicken stock, so I'm going to make about 300 mils. I might not use that, I don't know yet, but around about 300 mils. So I'll let the uh, kettle do its thing. Pop back in a second. Right, what I've done here is I've added about three spoons of flour just to thicken it up to absorb the butter 
the onions and the celery are softening up just nicely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to let them soak in their own juices. Knock this off for a few minutes and we'll move on to the next part. Right, that's the kettle boiled. I have made a little over 300 mils of uh, chicken stock. So I'll put the heat back on. Right, so pouring the stock. I'm hoping this is going to turn out just like how I remember it. Obviously, no clams, but <clears throat> spent some time in America. And one of my favorite places was Boston. And the New England clam chowder there was absolutely fantastic. Never, it's never been matched, not in this country. Not yet, anyway. Right, so I am going to. Oh, almost forgot. Got some uh, thyme leaves. I'm only going to put it in a few. Not too many. This has had a little over 15 minutes, probably about 17 minutes or so. And ooh, that's looking good. It actually smells pretty amazing as well. The smell of that cream. Ooh. Right. So as the ingredients needed cooking obviously. The seafood didn't because it's already cooked. So what I'm going to do is just knock that down a bit lower. I'm going to add in the seafood. What should have been the clams. I'm sure it's going to taste just as good. I don't want these to become rubbery. So, give them a stir. That's 
looking good. What I'm going to do is, it was a just in case that I bought two. I'm going to put just a little bit. Just want the consistency like how I remember. through I've given this a couple of stirs and this is actually looking pretty darn perfect and continue okay guys this is what it's looking like just as I remember smells exactly how I remember. Then into the mouth. <sniffs> nice. Oh my God. That. That is brilliant. That is fantastic. Obviously I couldn't get the clams, but a, sea, a seafood substitute, the actual soupy bit, is just absolutely 100% how it's done. How I remember when I was in Boston. I'm definitely, definitely gonna be doing that one again. Mm. That's turned out so much better than I expected. Brilliant. So, thank you guys again for watching. Give it a thumbs up. If you like it and uh, if you haven't already subscribed down to the bottom corner and I'll see you again on my next video.